what's the story with ring fencing? I, I'm not sure I understand that totally now. Can you explain it? Sure. It's kind of like this. When we were first married and started having babies, um, the babies were great when they were laying on the blanket, but eventually they started to roll and then they started to crawl and then they started to get into things, right? And as soon as we did that, my wife went down to Target and bought these child safety locks and put it and went into the kitchen and put them on all the cabinets that had dangerous things in them, right? Under the sink, we keep the dish soap. Dish soap is great for washing dishes. You have to get to it, right? But the babies don't need to get to it. So we locked up the dish soap. The dish soap is like PowerShell. It has a specific use, a specific purpose. Should be used by specific people at specific times. That's what PowerShell is. And the way your operating system is right now, Windows is wide open. You can open PowerShell whenever you want, do whatever you want with it. So we just put child safety locks on PowerShell. Ring fencing is child safety locks for, for those have to have to get to. Because sometimes your IT administrators have to run PowerShell scripts. They do. Sometimes they do. Uh, but now they'll be able to run only those scripts and no weaponized Word document or PDF will be able to, to use it or that's right. Or link that you click. Yeah, if they have if they have three or four or ten PowerShell scripts, we just create the known good list and we say these are good. Everything else is bad. We have ring fenced PowerShell. Yep. And run DLL and a lot of other baddies. Okay. A lot of other powerful tools that, that malware tries to leverage against you.